Godzilla and Kong are back at it once again with the latest film, Godzilla and Kong The New Empire. I could not be more hyped than to see these gigantic legends not only fight one another one more time, but team up against a bigger threat. And when you have a movie of this gigantic magnitude, the marketing is always unparalleled. And so like I've done here before on this channel for big movies that are heavily marketed with so much tie-in merch, let's go out and hunt for the best Godzilla and Kong merch they got. And this turned out to be one of the most challenging merch hunt videos because I was forced to travel down south of the border into my main homeland of Mexico just so I could be able to taste the Black Kong burger that for some reason was a promotion not available in the United States. And that's what I'll be doing here for you guys is just exploring the different tie-in merch associated with Godzilla x Kong the New Empire from video games taste testing chocolate bars based off each character hot sauce soda black burgers toys you name it I got it here on the channel all I ask of you is to hit that like button comment and subscribe if you enjoy this let's begin my friends <laughs> So what we're going to start off here with is I saw the company FYE was giving out chocolate. Chocolate? Chocolate? Chocolate! Hot sauce and sodas for Godzilla x Kong. I'm curious to see what that's going to taste like even more with a soda and a hot... Does Godzilla x Kong really need a hot sauce? It should also be worth noting, none of the stuff in this video is sponsored. In fact, FYE screwed me over because I ordered that Shimu freeze-dried ice cream and they didn't deliver it to me. They forgot to package it. So as far as I know, the F and FYE stands for F you! Earthling. But okay, let's kick things off with the Godzilla Titan Blaze Sweet Habanero Hot Sauce. I have a low tolerance for hot food. Just to give you an idea, hot Cheetos make my upper lip sweat, so I could die. There's even an interesting heat scale on the side here. It says four Godzilla hot out of five, so you know it's spicy. I don't trust this, by the way, so let's see how this goes. Oh, that smells spicy. That's that's the kind of spice that makes your nose tingle and your boot hole clench going, mm, I'm gonna feel later. Let's just go in. I'm gonna put some off here to the side. Oh, oh, it is black. That is a... Uh, that is an interesting color for some hot sauce there. Don't know if you can get that there. All right. One Godzilla hot sauce flavor going in. I made a mistake. It oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. It's sweet for like two seconds, and then your tongue just burns. It's honestly not bad though. I don't know how those people on hot ones do it. I would die after that first swing right right now. My mouth, my tongue feels like it just had needles right now. <laughs> um, this is probably my last bite. Uh, good segue into trying out the Godzilla X Kong soda. Now it's caffeine free, so it won't get you jittery. It just says Roar Power Pop. Mmm, that's cool. Black Cherry Carbonated Drink. Not much of a cherry guy, but all right. One Godzilla Kong Black Cherry Coke going in. It's fine. If you've had Black Cherry Coke before, it's exactly what it tastes like. It was probably a terrible idea to taste it after this, because I know, like I said, my tongue is needled, so I'm barely getting any flavor out of this. But okay, now to counterbalance the spiciness, let's start off with eating each one of these chocolates and see what ingredients inspired them. Starting off with Shimu. So from what little we've seen of Shimu in the trailers, we just know gigantic titan with ice breath. So they decided to make it a dark chocolate already, one out of ten. Dark chocolate hater over here. Cocoa nibs. I don't know what cocoa is. What's cocoa? Cocoa nibs are just dried up cocoa beans. Okay, that's cool. And some peppermint essence. All right, let's open this up, boys. Oh, I see the cocoa bits. Right there, you see them? Them cocoa bits. One Shimu chocolate going in. I'm sorry. No. Shimu. This probably honestly is perfect for Shimu. I believe she's supposed to be like the original Titan, the first one to ever have existed. And with that said, this feels like a chocolate my grandma would love. The dark chocolate, not a fan. Nothing against my dark chocolate lovers, but uh, if you are, I just know you hate fun. Forgive me, Shimu, but uh, two out of 10. Do not recommend. Next up here, we got Godzilla Supercharged Bar, 35% white chocolate. 
Out of all the chocolate, white chocolate is my favorite. Don't know why, I've just loved it ever since I was a kid. And stone ground coffee beans. Oh, dude, I'm gonna melt. I also love coffee. This sounds like an awesome combination here. Godzilla might be the winner of them all. Should I save this for last? Okay, let's just let's just go in. Um, One Godzilla supercharged bar going in. Okay, Mr. Beast, you have some competition. Screw Feastables. This is good. The chocolatey taste on this one is nice, but it's that hint of coffee thrown in there with the coffee beans. It really knocks it off. If you're an enjoyer of coffee and whatnot, this is for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a tough one to beat, I'm not going to lie. 9 out of 10. Recommend. Next up here on the lineup, we have the Scar King bar. <laughs> okay, let's see what ingredient they decided fits Scar King. They said mole blend, toffee, all right, toasted almonds, and fluera del so I didn't know I needed to be Walter White chemistry teacher with these ingredients. What is that? Someone cooked here. Oh, uh, it looks like it's just gigantic size salt bits. Um, I'm not gonna lie, those ingredients do not sound appetizing, but let's, let's see if this is good. So let's open it up. All right, just a regular looking chocolate bar there. Nothing too special. Smell test. Just kind of smells like chocolate. Nothing amazing. All right, one Scar King bar going in. They gave the villains of this movie the terrible chocolates on purpose. I know what y'all were doing. You knew you were going to sell Kong and Godzilla all day. No one was going to want to pick up Shimu and Scar, so you made them taste like booty. Uh, it, it has that same dark chocolate feel, except this one's a little salty. Again, if you're a dark chocolate lover, though, I guess this works. And I guess it is kind of clever of them to give dark chocolate to the villains. They're on the dark side, right? But as again, as someone who just doesn't like dark chocolate, mm -mm, I'm going to go 3 out of 10 on this one at your own risk. Sorry, Scar King. And last but certainly not least, the Kong bar. Woohoo! Anything Kong, put it in my mouth. <laughs> we have this one named Kong Beast Bar, named after his beast glove. And the ingredients for this one is dark chocolate. <laughs> oh! You betrayed me! No! They gave the best Titan dark chocolate. Okay, covered in peanuts. That's expected. He's got monkey in them. And a raspberry petite de fruit. Oh, dude, that peanut and raspberry better work over time to make this tasteable. <sighs> Not looking forward to it, but let's let's go in. One Kong Beast Bar, baby. Let's check this out. Why did it have to be dark chocolate? Just don't like the taste of it. It's so bitter. Mm. Oh, this one's different. Guys. This one might be okay. I'm, I'm not gonna say it's amazing, but they did something different and this isn't just a bark of chocolate. It has like filling in it, peanut butter filling and raspberry filling. This is kind of like eating a chocolate peanut butter sandwich, no joke. It's working for me. Give me a glass of milk, I'm having a good time. I'm gonna give the Kong Beast Bar a seven out of 10. You know, so dark chocolate still holds it back, but man. The Godzilla Supercharged Bar is the winner. But as far as like marketing and tie-in, I do love the thought process put into what ingredients go with what Titans. And well, that was actually a little fun. But let's move on to the next item. <laughs> oh, baby. It's Godzilla time. Nowadays, one of the most essential parts of your movie marketing is what does your popcorn bucket look like? The standards were set unbelievably high, and I'll tell you, even Kong is a fan of the Dune popcorn bucket. Sneaky Boy likes to stick his banana in that thing if you didn't know. So in the hunt for the best Godzilla X Kong merch, I set my sights out to my local theater, Cinemark, in the hopes that they would be providing the people with amazing popcorn buckets that'll create memories that'll last a lifetime. And again, although nothing in this video is sponsored, I still want to thank the lovely people at Cinemark for giving me permission to film inside their theater. Cinemark did want me to remind you guys, no costumes that cover your face are allowed in their theaters. I knew of this rule ahead of time and is why I asked permission before I went full Kong cheeks out 
But back to focusing on the merchandise for Godzilla X Kong, movie theaters have really stepped up their game with the collectibles they sell in promotion for the movies. Many of them warn you ahead of time with what they're gonna have, and boy, you better be there three or two weeks early before the movie's released if you wanna get your hands on anything. I knew for me, they basically sold out of the plushies here. I couldn't find them, but they still had these nice souvenir cups. They completely ran out of Godzilla, though, which should be expected, but they still had plenty of tin cans with all the major Caillou's on each side of them, but I was most fascinated with this unique one that looks almost like an identification card for each kaiju. And I really think they did a good job with these Godzilla X Kong Monarch tin cans. The inside depiction of each kaiju looks really cool, but yeah, this popcorn bucket phenomenon is just kind of insane to me lately because you will see people buy these buckets just so that they can resell them for much more online. There's probably somebody buying a car selling these popcorn buckets. Now, I do also want to go ahead and highlight AMC because although I prefer Cinemark, I can't deny they do bring the heat when it comes to the popcorn buckets, and they continue to hit that stride with the Godzilla X Kong one. As of me recording this right now, they are not available for purchase. They'll be released the weekend the movie comes out. And although at first it looks like a typical popcorn bucket with just some really cool art and engraved detail, this is a popcorn bucket that can be split in half, revealing more details within and symbolizing the team up between Godzilla X Kong. This is such a cool popcorn bucket, especially if you're going like on a date or with a friend and you need to split the popcorn without having to do that awkward thing where you sit in the middle and then each one of you can grab it whenever you want. Everybody's arms eventually get tired. This way you can split it and still be pretty happy. This is one I'm gonna have to add to the popcorn bucket collection just because I think that's pretty cool. And the journey officially begins. Last night for me, Godzilla minus one won an Oscar. Whoa! And today I'm going to Mexico to eat the Kong burger. We all do great achievements in life, don't we? Let's go. Shoelace break. Very important. My butt crack showing, I can feel the draft. Long line. Everybody must want a bite of the burger. All right, about to go through the TSA line. Probably not the greatest idea to record this process, so uh, let's see what other gods it likes Kong merch I found earlier today. Now, while future me is on his way to the airport for the big trip, I myself had to stop at a magical little land known as Tarje, because we gotta look at what Godzilla toys there are out there. And Kong, and Kong. To the toy aisle. And look at this, before we even go into the main aisle, we already got some winners. Yeah. Godzilla in his pink evolution form. Still really love that form. My big boy. Oh, they got Godzilla too. I need both of these. Yeah. <laughs> and you know it's not a merch hunt video unless we unbox some Funko Pops, so let's get into them. And before even diving into these, I want to praise the Funko Pops for the last Godzilla vs. Kong movie because that came out with one of the most detailed, badass looking pops. That's the Mecha Godzilla one. Just all the details involved with that one really made it stand out. And now that we have evolution forms of these characters one movie later is so awesome. Starting off with Godzilla in his evolution pink form. I love that they give you the chance to either have the atomic breath put on or off, up to you. Scar King is still a baddie I'm having doubts about and wondering if he's gonna live up to the hype in the new movie. And even more with this Funko Pop just showing off that big bald middle-aged head, I still gotta give him props for having that whip made out of bones. That's just such a cool touch. And on that same note, I didn't get a chance to get this for this video, but they also came out with Scar King on the throne. You can get that online right now if you'd like, but I'm gonna wait to see how much I like him in the movie before I order that one so far I'm okay with just this one. Suko, aka Kong Jr. for this movie. I am so curious what kind of story points they have set up for this man, you know? King Kong's obviously gonna adopt him, but like, where's his mama? Where's his papa? The Funko Pop does highlight he has a scar on his eyes, and I'm willing to bet Scar gave him that scar. Shimu, baby. I have been up and down with Shimu's design from all the other leaks that we've gotten, whether it's t-shirts on the chocolate bar, or the small glimpses we get of her in the trailer, but maybe it's because I'm a fan of Funko Pops. The Funko Pop Shimu look is my favorite.
favorite by far. It's just, again, a very detailed, badass looking one. But the one I was the most excited to get and add to my Kong collection was Kong himself wearing that Infinity Gauntlet looking Beast Glove. Kong wielding both the Beast Glove and his Battle Axe. I am hoping there is a scene in the movie where he uses both. Now this time around, Funko decided to only release Godzilla and Kong in like six inch forms. In the first Godzilla versus Kong, they had them in 10 inch form. Those are usually the guys I have behind me. And well, it sucks that I don't have 10 inch versions of these because I would have loved a 10 inch Kong. Give me those 10 inches Kong. For scaling purposes, I like that I can put Kong next to Suko, and it looks about right for how they're gonna be father and son in this movie. And which is those Funko Pops, you think it'd be easy to pick which was the best out of the new lineup, but then they busted out this Godzilla Amazon exclusive of him sleeping. We know this is gonna be a scene in the movie where he's like taking a nap in the Roman Coliseum like he's some sort of giant cat, but the fact that they also busted it out as a Funko Pop is just adorable, and I can't even deny it as a Kong simp. So while I understand people who picked the sleeping Godzilla is the best one, I'm still going with Kong Beast Glove and Battle Axe because that's just an OP combination. Kong is always winning that round. Love to know which one you guys think is the best one though. This immediately catches my eye right away. Not going on my face, but I know whose face this is gonna go on. Cut to a future Chris. Now, all of these are fantastic, but there was one I had in mind I had to get here, okay? There was only a couple of stores that still had the RC Godzilla. Dude, I've seen videos of what this thing does. And let me tell you, I can't wait to play with it at my desk. So uh, let's just cut to that already. And now here back at the studio, let's unbox this, man. It is so unfair. The toys this generation gets, man. All these iPad kids getting toys they don't even appreciate. I bet you all the ones that are being bought up are freaking old dudes like me getting them. Now this RC Godzilla is supposed to not only have simulated heat breath, it has realistic movement. Godzilla can start whipping his tail. I can't wait to terrorize my little chihuahua with this. Best part I saw also is the thing includes all the batteries, man. That, when do you ever see that? Right there it says, all included. You, you never see that. Oh yeah. I love that the controller is essentially in the shape of a Godzilla paw. That is so badass, I like that. Man, this really shows you how skinny Godzilla got for this movie, bro. If Godzilla could do it, I should be on track too. Oh, nice, that snappy feel, that's what you like. I like the feeling of it too, it's like a real rubbery, squishy type of thing. Once I pull this, Godzilla is activated. Red light blinking, can you see that? Red light blink! Let's have him go from one end of the desk to the other. Let's go, baby. <laughs> He's doing it! He's doing it! <laughs> That's so cool! Now before we get to the cool atomic breath part, it's said that his tail whips. Now I want to see how powerful it is. Let me bring in some props. Alright, Godzilla, let's see that whipping tail action. Oh, we knocked out the building! No! Oh! <laughs> so many families lost! I want to get to the atomic breath part. So it looks like there's a little tube right here. I pop out, pour little droplets of water, and then Godzilla should give us some atomic breath. Let's go do that. A few moments later. Okay, I just finished putting the droplets of water into Godzilla. Let's test this out. I'm gonna dim the lights. Okay, let's get Godzilla in position. <laughs> That's good right there, big boy. Let's see that atomic breath. I gotta let you guys see that POV. Dude, isn't that freaking cool? Look, okay, like any nice movable toy. It's time to go mess with my little chihuahua. Godzilla, you ready? He's a mean kaiju. Round one, fight. And the Oscar goes to... Round two, fight! <laughs> Round three... 
three, fight! Video game, baby! Oh, I miss the days when we would have a crappy tie-in game to go with every big blockbuster. And, you know, I might say crappy, but not a lot of those video games were actually bad. I remember enjoying quite a few of those. The Pixar ones were hidden gems. The Wolverine Origins video game was better than the movie. But even with that no longer being a thing, Godzilla and Kong are still collaborating with video games. And no, I'm not talking about the awful Kong game that got terrible reviews. We got Godzilla and Kong joining Call of Duty, where you can get this weird Kong looking skin and finishing moves based off each character. They also collaborated with a mobile game and busted out some gorgeous cinematics that probably don't compare to the actual gameplay. Nothing on the Fortnite front unfortunately my dudes but they did bust out a Roblox tie-in. It's okay. It's not okay though, it's not, you know, on Roblox. I've never played Roblox in my life, but if Godzilla and Kong are in here, I just got to join on the fun. And look, you do get the poster here, that's kind of cool. For centuries, there was Kong. Oh. It's a 3D! <laughs> that's actually kind of cool. Oh, I'm in Hollow Earth! 3C has made it to Hollow Earth. Look at my luscious face. Looks just like me. Collecting them Godzilla crystals. Okay. Oh, dude. This is easy. Ooh, buddy. Suko! Down the wall for us. I appreciate that, Suko. You know, I actually do love platformers. I was a big Crash Bandicoot guy growing up. Kind of what it reminds me of. What's the next in this hollow earth? Do I get to meet Kong? I would really like to meet Kong. Palms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. Mom, bring me my spaghetti. I feel like I'm going in a circle now. Oh! I'm just floating. I can, I can try and jump back. It takes a skilled Robloxer to be able to pull this move off. Ready, guys? Oh! <laughs> I actually did it. I thought I was going to fall. The prize better be me jumping on Kong's cheeks. Oh, I see them! I see them! Oh! Where'd he go? Scar King, pop out or something. Whip me, man. So far, best game I've ever played, baby. Let me tell you that. Oh, Godzilla Spines. Can I jump on his back? He's hibernating right now. Hey, wake up. Kong needs you. Oh, Kong's hand! Let me touch it! I'm coming, Kong! I'm back at the lobby. What do I do with all those crystals I just got? How do I look like this guy? 2,000 orbs?! Sold- How do you sell out of a virtual item? Roblox is scamming kids. Does, is everybody aware of this? I was not. Honestly, I see why these kids are grinding on Roblox now. When they price these items like this, no wonder you have to do that simulation 10 times a day for a month, and then I can get a Godzilla head. I'd rather play the Kong Switch game at this point. This is it, guys. And now I have made it to Mexico. It's true what they say about the piss filter. I thought that was just a movie thing, but it's here. And other than that, it's not that different from America. I mean, look at this. We got Little Caesars right there. We got AT&T. A big Home Depot, a wing stop. I mean, it has everything, but the number one place we needed was a Carl's Jr. baby. We're here, let's go look. My biggest fear throughout this entire event is that they were not gonna have the Godzilla or Kong burger or even the scar fries. This makes me feel a little reassured that I did come to a right spot. Let's go order it. También una Godzilla burger y una scar fries, por favor. Uh, un refresco. Un refresco, nada más. ¿Sabes qué? En vez del refresco, el agua. La botella de agua, por favor. Proof, I just finished buying the Kong Godzilla burger here with some pesos. Now we wait for it to arrive at our table. 
just like that, they are here. You can see this one says Godzilla Burger. Got that nice blue sticker. The Black Kong Burger sticker and the Scar Fries. All right, kicking things off. The Godzilla Burger, baby. Let's see this thing. Oh, geez, dude, this is a meat packer. We got bacon, cheddar, three patties. Dude, I don't know if my mouth can fit this. That's what she said. All right, one Godzilla burger going in. That's a pretty good burger. I mean, if you're a meat lover, this is definitely for you. I gave it three Godzilla tails out of five. Now time for the Kong burger. Look at that black thing. Time for the peace day resistance. This is what the whole trip was about. If this goes south, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. I might have to cancel three seafood reviews. The Black Kong Burger. I'd be lying to you if I said this actually looked appetizing, but for my boy Kong, I'd take a bite of his buns any day. One Kong Burger going in. Ugh. I really hate to say this. I am not even kidding. This kind of tastes disgusting. <laughs> it is not a great burger, guys. Oh my God. It's got like a jalapeno flavor to it, which is nice. I'm not a big jalapeno guy. Some people are gonna call me wimps for this, but just the meat to bun ratio is killing it for me, man. I am a guy about a ratio, okay? You gotta have the right ratio of meat, the right ratio of bun and cheese, and this is just overdoing it. It's also a little soggy. The bun tastes odd. I give this two Kong hairy cheeks out of five. Time to try out star fries that honestly look freaking delicious and slightly disappointing i mean the godzilla burger was good but that was just a plain burger scar fries you gotta bring it home okay this i'm not joking this actually looks so good hot diggity dog scar you done it the scar fries it's basically like if they took the powder from a bag of hot cheeto lime and put it on fries. This is good. It's got that nice medium heat flavor with a hint of lime. This is actually really good. Scar fries win it by a landslide. Five scar whips out of five, man. This made the trip worth it. I finally rest and watch the sunrise on a grateful universe. <laughs>